the lure of foreign football has always drawn the bravest of British players beyond their home shores. For those who ventured into unfamiliar territories, the rewards were often great. Legacies built, titles won, and reputations cemented as legends in foreign lands. Their exploits, however, were not simply about adaptation, but about bringing something distinctly British to the grandest stages. These players not only survived but thrived, dominating leagues from Italy to Spain and beyond. Here, we take a closer look at the 10 greatest British players to play abroad, each leaving an indelible mark on the game. David Platt's rise to prominence on Italian soil marked the beginning of a transformative period for British exports. His move from Aston Villa to Barry in 1991 was the first step in a successful career in Serie A, where his natural goal-scoring instincts from midfield made him an invaluable asset. Platt's versatility was particularly admired during his spells at Juventus and Sampdoria. His tactical awareness and ability to find space in the tightest of defences brought a clinical edge to Italian football, and Platt remains one of the finest British midfielders to ever ply their trade abroad. Owen Hargreaves represents a somewhat different story. Born in Canada and raised in Germany, Hargreaves was British by nationality but foreign in development. His education at Bayern Munich, where he became a pivotal figure in midfield, saw him win four Bundesliga titles and a Champions League crown. Hargreaves was the archetypal modern footballer, technically gifted, tactically astute and adaptable. Whether shielding the back four or linking play from deep, he was a manager's dream. His success at Bayern served as a blueprint for British players seeking to succeed abroad, showing that one didn't need to grow up in Britain to embody its footballing spirit. While Hargreaves symbolised a new breed of British player, Jude Bellingham represents the future. The young midfielder made his mark at Borussia Dortmund before making the high-profile switch to Real Madrid in 2023. Still only in the early stages of his career, Bellingham's impact has been nothing short of remarkable. Gifted with vision, composure and an ability to control games from midfield, he has already shown maturity far beyond his years. At Madrid, Bellingham is primed to follow in the footsteps of British greats, with his raw talent and technical excellence offering a tantalising glimpse of what's to come. For Glenn Hoddle, foreign success came not from raw athleticism, but from an artistry few British players possessed. His move to AS Monaco in 1987 offered him the perfect platform to showcase his delicate touch and vision, traits that perhaps weren't fully appreciated in English football. Under Arsene Wenger, Hoddle became the fulcrum of a title-winning Monaco side, using his intelligence to outthink rather than outmuscle his opponents. His influence on French football and his ability to control the tempo of games cemented his place as one of the most technically gifted British players to play abroad. Gary Lineker, one of England's greatest strikers, made his name in Spain after joining Barcelona in 1986. With a striker's instinct for goal, Lineker's blistering pace and finishing ability saw him net 42 goals in his first two seasons, including a famous hat-trick against Real Madrid in El Clasico. Lineker's time in La Liga was brief but significant. His clinical nature in front of goal proved that British forwards could thrive in the tactical and technical arenas of Spanish football. While his time at the Camp Nou was not without its challenges, Lineker left Spain having secured his place among Europe's finest marksmen. If Lineker's success in Spain was short-lived, Steve McManaman's was enduring. Moving to Real Madrid in 1999, McManaman found himself in the heart of the Galacticos era, where his intelligence and work ethic made him a crucial figure in the side's Champions League successes. His knack for delivering on the biggest stages was nowhere more apparent than in the 2000 Champions League final, where his volley sealed Madrid's triumph.
Twice a European champion, McManaman stands as one of the few English players to have truly conquered Spain, his unselfish style winning over even the most demanding fans at the Bernabeu. For Chris Waddle, it was France that provided the platform for his genius. At Marseille, Waddle became a talismanic figure, helping the club to three consecutive League One titles and a European Cup final. Waddle's trickery on the wing, combined with his vision and creativity, made him a nightmare for defenders across France. His flamboyance off the field mirrored his flair on it, and his impact at Marseille was such that he remains a cult hero to this day. His time in France proved that British wingers could thrive in the tactical confines of continental football, bringing a touch of unpredictability and brilliance to the game. Few British exports have ever been as influential as Kevin Keegan during his time at Hamburg. Arriving in 1977, Keegan's relentless drive and energy powered Hamburg to Bundesliga glory, with the Englishman playing a pivotal role in their resurgence. Keegan's influence went far beyond his goals and assists, his leadership and professionalism transformed the club. Twice a Ballon d'Or winner while in Germany, Keegan's time abroad showcased his determination to succeed at the highest level, cementing his legacy as one of the finest British players to grace a foreign league. Gareth Bale's career at Real Madrid needs little introduction. Signed for a world record fee in 2013, Bale's explosive pace and thunderous left foot became synonymous with Madrid's European dominance. His contributions in key moments, most notably his stunning overhead kick in the 2018 Champions League final, have etched his name in the annals of footballing history. Four Champions League titles and countless decisive goals make Bale one of the most successful British players of all time. His ability to deliver on the biggest occasions places him among the greats, not just of British football, but of world football. but towering above all is John Charles. The Welshman's move to Juventus in 1957 marked the start of an era in which Charles became a colossus in Serie A. Equally adept as a striker or defender, his versatility, combined with his physicality and grace, made him a giant of Italian football. His goal-scoring record and leadership helped Juventus to three Serie A titles, and his reputation as Il Gigante Buono, the gentle giant, endures to this day. Charles wasn't just one of the best British exports, he was one of the best players to ever play the game, his legend resonating across generations. These ten players represent the pinnacle of British talent abroad, each leaving their own distinct mark on the game. From the tactical nuance of Italy to the flair of Spain, their careers abroad were not just about personal success, but about showcasing the very best of British football on the world stage. Their legacies remind us that the game, like its greatest stars, transcends borders. <laughs>